Well, writing prompt. Multi-dimensional travel already exists, but no one visits our dimension because it's that one. This isn't a prompt, it's just a fact. And does anyone else with intrusive thoughts do that weird dismissive head shake when they get them to kind of like reverse reject the thought, or is that just me? Gotta shake your brain like an etch sketch and start over. <laughs> ah, clear. Oh, to be a small mouse in a pastoral children's novel who lives in a hollowed out tree stump and does nothing but collect dewdrops and sweep the doorstep with a feather. And carve one strawberry into slices like it's a ham. You! You get it. You think that's a denim jacket? <laughs> Surely you just! That punchline hit me like a sack of wet mice. It, it hit you like what? No offense to the people of Texas, but if there's a big red button that says destroy Texas on it, I might. I may. I would. It took my new cat a while to realize that kissing the top of her head was a gesture of affection, but I think she's finally got it. The downside is that now she thinks the best way to signal that she wants cuddles is to come charging at me and mash the top of her head against my face. It's like a very affectionate punch in the mouth. And yet here you are, talking about it like it's a problem. I love Tumblr because sometimes I get an urge to read blog posts about something nobody likes and everyone just politely ignores me. Everyone's like, oh, he's fallen into madness again. He'll be fine later, I guess. World builders naming towns. I named this town Iliguemeth, which means where the dearly beloved king died next to his lover. And the language I invented, and also a combination of the old English word for diamonds and the Maori word for apples, since that's their main export. People in real life naming towns. I named this town Big Falls because Big Fall there. <sighs> yep. Behold, the work in progress in my head and what physically exists. I feel seen. In my dad's valiant effort to not misgender people, his brain has somehow short-circuited and he's they theming everyone. My mom, they them now. His coworkers, all they them. No one can escape. A-T-A-D. Assigned they at dad. Writing prompt. A barbarian warlord, a goblin king, a mighty necromancer, and a dark elven high priestess to meet for one reason. To play suburbs and SUVs, the hottest mundane suburban family tabletop RPG. Can I roll to have a meltdown in the middle of the PTA bake sale? Why? To make Karen look like a bitch. Metabots say you where everything is exactly the same, except Metabee is allowed to say, fuck! I want this. And I also want standards and practices to not know about it. So when the episode airs that day, the guy in the corner is just like, Oh fuck, what have we done? I explained what a himbo was to my dad yesterday. My dad nodding, hmm, the man from the Ghostbusters reboot. We watched this film exactly once, four years ago. And all my dad retained was that Kevin was a himbo. Respect. Hey, listen, take it from me. You name your character Kevin, they're gonna end up as a himbo. Exhibit A. Look at him. Perfection. All right, I'm gonna try to not do this one like Gianni did it. Cause, yeah. R slash Vexuology, the flag of Japan, but it's actually this hand towel with a perfectly placed water stain. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I just peed on my towel accidentally. Better turn this into clout. It was a water stain. I had an ice pack and it leaked onto the towel. I didn't fucking pee on it. Oh, you peed on it. You peed on it, didn't you, you little piss boy? I did!